Now we review some calculus. First part A. The integration from A to B and B minus A. Then x minus a plus b divided by 2 square dx. First, we do the change variables. We let y equals x minus a plus b divided by 2. That means I have this equals y. Since this equals y, then our upper limit and lower limit also need to be exchanged. So if b, the upper limit is b, then you change the variables to y, then the upper limit will be b minus a plus b divided by 2. And the lower limit is a minus a plus b divided by 2. And 1 divided by b minus a is the same, and here's y squared, dy. Since y equals x minus a plus b divided by 2, then dy equals dx. So next. We just uh, simplified this. The upper limit should be b minus a divided by 2. And the lower limit should be a minus b divided by 2. And here is b minus a uh, in the denominator and times y squared dy. So 1 divided by b minus a, we put this in the front. And this is one third y cubed, and that's from a minus b divided by two to b minus a divided by two. That's the calculation. Finally, this is b minus a squared divided by twelve. That is the part A. Part B. I have uh, part B. I have uh, integration from zero to infinity, and. It is lambda times x times e to the minus lambda x dx. We don't want we don't want the lambda x in the exponential, so we let y equals lambda x, which is easier to calculate. That means if I dy equals lambda dx. So I change the variables. y equals lambda x. So lambda x is y. And e to the minus y times times dy times lambda. And it's also from 0 to infinity.
here. I should have this. There's no Landa here but since it cancelled out. So I have a one over Landa in the front. So next, I still have one over Landa. Then we can calculate this integration right now. Is the minus y times e to the minus y. It's integrations by part from zero to infinity plus the integration e to the minus y dy. And this is zero plus this is one. So finally it is one over lambda. Why this is one? Because it's an exponential distribution. Exponential distribution, then the PDF, if I integrate from zero to infinity, we collect all these possibilities, so then it's one. That's the part B. Part C. We need to calculate in the absolute form here. But since we note the exponential minus lambda and the x is in the absolute, this is an event function, even function. What is even function? Suppose I have a fx equals this. The even function means this is also equals f of minus x. So since this is an even function, then the x times exponential to the minus lambda times the absolute, absolute x is an odd function. The odd function means, let me use g, gx equals this turn equals g minus g of x. So this is odd function. If I take the integrate of odd function, this immediately goes to zero. That's it. This is the exercise three.